Hello everyone. I wanted to show you how you can make your own school memory binder. This one is from my son, Jacob. I made this nice cover in Photoshop. And as you can see, it is super bulky, super chunky and full. He is going into grade 10 this fall. So he has a lot of great memories in here. I used a two inch D-ring binder and I'm going to show you what all I did to make this album. It takes a few basic supplies. So let's go ahead and I will show you how it's done. And it's still a work in progress. So I finished kindergarten and grade one and I'm going to show you how I put together grade two. What you're going to need are some sheet protectors and these are optional. You could even have the papers punched in like you just punch the paper and put them in and you will need these beautiful printables. These are free. I will leave the download link below. And it just goes from preschool, kindergarten, grade one, grade two, all the way up to grade 12. I have looked all over for beautiful printable papers and I have found many, but these ones were my favorite because there's room for a big photo here. And basically you don't need to have a whole lot of information. What's happening that year, their name, the year, their teacher, their friends, favorite book, field trips, and favorite activity. So that gives kind of a rundown about how your school year went. Of course, there's more printables out there with different prompts, like several different pages that you can fill out together, but I found that just made it too complicated. What I love about this is the simplicity. I love all the colors, and mostly just I love how big of a photo you can put here. And then the next thing you need are all of your memories, all your papers, your awards, your photos, certificates, ribbons, anything at all. You name it, you can put it in here. So I have his grade two picture, and I have his class picture. I've made a collage. There's some awards that he received. Um, some drawings, more drawings some ribbons he received. Uh, I have one, a copy of one report card. They get them um, twice each semester. So there's actually four in a year, but I don't think we need to have that many in here. Um, some spelling tests, some crafts, um, some more beautiful drawings. And, and I also put in a little card um, the, he's actually going into grade 10, so I have to put this in the grade 10 spot. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. Um, something from cadets. I even have an old shirt from when he was in kindergarten. Um, so you can always keep this in like a little pocket or you can take a picture of it and put the photo in. And he also has this nice little yearbook that his class threw together. Um, oh, you can also add in newspaper articles. Uh, that's the kids there at an event that they were at. And it doesn't even have to be strictly school um, uh, because he is involved with cadets and other after school activities that I include in here. So anything at all you can put in here. So let's get started. One thing I did want to add is if you have something that's not going to fit into the album, there's this massive drawing here that he did. And he had many, many, many large, beautiful, intricate crafts that he did through school. Just take a picture of it. Honestly, I'm one of those people who hoards everything. I have tote after tote after tote, uh, or I did. I kept everything they ever did in school for the last 10 years. They have made a lot of beautiful things and I have a hard time parting with things. So I literally had everything from all the kids for all the years and I just had to part with it. So we're going to need grade two since that's the year we're going to be working on right now. Grab a handful of sheet protectors to put in. I'm going to need several. Now what you can do is get your children to fill this out so year after year you can see kind of the progression of their handwriting. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to fill this in. 
So he was in grade two in 2012. They could always put their signature in here. So for his friends, he had a best friend, Caden. But really, he had a wonderful class. So he tells me the whole class was his friend. His favorite book was Curious George Frogs. So he learns about catching frogs and the, he collects tadpoles and it shows the whole process of how tadpoles become frogs. So Then for field trips, he went to Ross Farm, which is funny because I actually went on a field trip there when I was his age. And his favorite activity was Minecraft. And here he is in grade 10 and he still loves playing Minecraft. So go ahead and take your glue. And that is how simple and straightforward it is to fill out the cover. And I just love these printables. They're going to be consistent throughout your entire album. So let's go ahead and slide this in. And the layout is pretty much up to you, but what I have been doing for all of my albums, for all of my children, the next page, I put their class photo. So let's go ahead and do that. You could get really, really fancy and get fancy stickers and you can go to the scrapbook store and buy beautiful 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. But I found construction paper really awesome because you can get a ton and it comes in a variety of colors. Now it is a little too big for these pages. So just take your scissors and you can cut around it. This is the size difference. So you're just cutting it into an eight and a half by 11. And I write down grade two, I put on a few stickers and I just pasted the photo right on. So let's go ahead and stick that in. As you can see um, for grade one, I have one of his assignments glued to this green paper. Um, I don't have any rhyme or reason. I just like to have a different color. So since I use green here, I'm going to use blue. My next one, I won't use blue. I try to use everything at least once. And this construction paper is great because if they did like 50 different crafts and you took a picture of them, you could put a collage of pictures on and stick them all on. So there we have it. That's the title page for grade two. Let's stick that in our album. And now we will add all of the fun stuff. So the next page I have his first day of school. He's waiting for the bus. So I just stuck that on an orange piece of construction paper. So it actually has preschool, uh, kindergarten, all the way up till he's almost in grade 10. And there's a little bit of room left here. I'm trying to keep it to one album per child for all their school years. So it is very, very, very full. I think I'm averaging about three or four pages per grade. So I'll just go through really quick. Lots of drawings. Lots of photos. Like I said, I just glue them onto construction paper. Some from math, some from English, grade four. Um, as you can see, I still need to add some photos. And I kept a copy of his school supply list that his teacher sent home. 
Terry Fox run they did. Grade five. He had to do a speech in 4-H club, so I actually just kept his speech in here. A self-portrait he drew. Grade six. Uh, they were in the newspaper. They were writing about Remembrance Day, what they knew about it. And I, of course, kept the ribbons that he received for 4-H Club. Oh, this was a fun printable that his teacher got the class to do. So his favorite memory, his favorite food, favorite song, favorite toy. You know, some years I have this information, some years I don't. seven and for grade eight it was the last um, grade in that school so they had another graduation so I have to get this shrunk down to size to put into here and then he has this massive class graduation photo and I'm going to have to shrink it down and Stick it in here somehow. So that is for grade eight. Math test. This is a uh, science experiment they did. An award, a report card, a math test. Another award. He, I slipped in a little graduation card. Then his graduation certificate. More cadet stuff. Then we have grade nine. And all I have for grade nine is his times table of everything, all his courses he chose. And he still has a uh, second semester to do January to June. So I'm sure I will have a class picture and all that stuff put in here afterwards. So then I have grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, and a couple extra plastics in the back. And when I was young, my mom actually made one of these for me. It was a store-bought one and it might've been like this thick. And all it was, was one page and each page you could fill out the stuff in the front and there was a pocket and whatever you could stuff in there, <laughs> you could just make it as fat and as full and as bulky as you wanted it. It was just one page for one grade. So you could always do that as well. So there you have it. There is Jacob's school memories binder. And I am confident that for the last three years of school, grade 10, 11, and 12, we'll be able to fit into here because there's just so much less that we really need to keep for those grades. And when you're picking out a binder, like I said, pick something that's very, very durable. Pick one that has the D ring and this one is a two inch binder. Pick one that has this window in the front and then you can personalize it. I added his name. I typed this out in Photoshop, this cover here. And I get to do it again for my other children. So I have those printed off here. And as I said, I will leave the links for these below and they are free. So that's how you can put together your very own school memories binder. It's a wonderful keepsake. There you have it. That's all it takes, basic supplies. And if you have all of your stuff together and your photos, you are ready to start slipping things in. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to take a storage room filled with totes and basically empty them all and have either photographs or a couple keepsakes in this album and the rest is gone. I was finally able to part with some of it, but I'm so happy to have so many wonderful memories uh, kept in this album to, to look back on. Thanks for watching. Bye.